announcement has the potential to help medical facilities like Toronto General, patients across Canada, and the field of medical imaging worldwide. Minister <clears throat> doctors in this country will not remain silent in the face of the concerns. Well, I'll, I'll answer those, those questions the after my announcement. To the refugee health program. I will be very happy to answer those questions after. Of the most vulnerable members of our society, refugees who are coming from war-torn countries, fleeing hatred, fleeing crimes against humanity, and your government is about to cut the very essential medicines, the very essential services that these people require in order to continue living. This is not the legacy of Canada. This is not the kind of country that we want to live in. I am not alone. We have medical associations across this country, the CMA, the OMA. All of these organizations are denouncing your government's cuts to the interim federal health program. Perhaps, what, do you have, what do you have to say for yourself? Perhaps we could give yeah, the minister the privacy of finishing his remarks, and I'm sure... The minister will be disrupted from this point on. Members of the Conservative government will be disrupted from this point on by Canadian doctors I across this country. You question. Do you across want an this country. Do you want an answer to your question? Please, please do. Okay. The answer to the question is that our government believes, as most Canadians believe, uh, that all Canadians should be given the same health care. Uh, uh, and we do not believe uh, that people who just arrived, uh, recent uh, refugees, should be given superior health care to that of Canadian residents and Canadian citizens. We are equalizing the health care so that everyone in this country is treated equally. Minister, you well know that there okay. are folks on Ontario Works who receive very similar benefits as refugees coming to this country. Refugees are coming well, to I, this country. I, okay, I've, I've, I've answered the question. Off, you are cutting off maternal please, benefits. Please, please, A sorry. pregnant woman will not be able to get health care because of you. A pregnant woman. A diabetic will not be able to get insulin. Will come into my emergency department with diabetic ketoacidosis. Okay, do you think that's going to save money for this country? So, this this is a not. this is an important announcement for Canadian patients. I understand. And I'm who sorry require? To interrupt, but no, I'm you are interrupting, on and I'm rather embarrassed on behalf of our hospital that we have a representative of the Canadian people here who is unable to announce something that's very important for Canadian patients. I'd ask you, doctor, if you are a doctor. Please, take your seat and please show the minister the courtesy that... I don't believe this minister deserves my courtesy, or the courtesy of any doctor in this country. Minister, we apologize to you, and we're going to conclude this announcement. You've destroyed it. For Canadian patients, you've ruined this announcement. Thank you. For, ca for Canadian refugees, this minister has ruined potentially their lives. As doctors, allied professionals... The, the, in the information that you're giving the Canadian people is false. You know, I, I don't mind having a debate. This government that we are not alone. That I don't mind having a debate, country, but I don't... Thousands of doctors, I like to thousands of not, nurses have denounced these cuts. Every major health organization in this country has come out against this cut. This is an unprecedented move by the medical community, and this government has been hell-bent to ignore the voices of doctors, to ignore the voices of nurses, to shut out the Canadian people for this. And we denounce this cuts. Are you guys really doctors? Yeah, I'm a doctor. Yeah. And you? I'm a medical student. Do you think you got your point across, or I think you just made them more upset? Uh, you know, if I made them upset, I think this government deserves to feel uncomfortable and should be made to feel upset. I think they're upsetting a lot of people across this country. They're upsetting some of the most vulnerable people in this country, people who have just arrived here fleeing torture, fleeing famine, fleeing all kinds of, of uh, hardships. Uh, I myself am a first-generation immigrant, and I'm here today 
to send a really strong message to this government that as healthcare professionals, we're not going to stand by and let this happen and let this serve as a notice to the conservative government that as allied healthcare professionals, we will continue to raise this issue and disrupt their talks. And why didn't Joe Oliver meet with us when we went to his office and asked for a meeting? Why aren't these conservative governments taking into account the various health organizations that have come out against these cuts? These are the only platforms we have left today to to have our voices heard by a government that is so hell-bent on not listening to the voices of Canadians, to not listen to allied healthcare professionals, and we are the ones that will deal with the front-line repercussions of these cuts, not them.